Mad Max Thunder Road! We've got two amazing 118th Mad Max model cars to look at today. A brand new casting from Greenlight, the first of the V8 Interceptors. This model, highly detailed from the Artisan Collection. One of the most cinematically recognized cars of the last 40 years, the Ford Falcon XB MFP Pursuit Car has now been produced by Greenlight through the Artisan Collection and this model has a lot of nice details we're going to look at. In addition, I've brought out my Auto Art Mad Max Interceptor for this review. Following the review of the Ford Falcon XB, we're going to look at this two-door version of the XB close up once again. And a little backstory on these cars. They were produced from 1972 to 1976 by the Ford Motor Company for use in Australia. Over 200,000 of these cars were produced in that time span, all of them featuring a 351 cubic inch 5.8 liter V8 engine, hence their name in the movie, the last of the V8 interceptors. These cars were extremely powerful, able to reach top speeds of nearly 120 miles per hour, or 200 kilometers per hour for my Canadian and Australian friends and other people around the world. And these cars had a variety of different body styles you could choose, including the two-door, the four-door, a wagon, a utility version, and even a van. What amazing cars. Rear-wheel drive, four-speed manual, three-speed automatic, optional. Let's take a closer look at this awesome model. And now for a brand new, highly anticipated model from Greenlight through the Artisan Collection. Single place precision. This is a 118th replica of the first of the V8 interceptors from Mad Max 1. The well known movie from 1979, introducing one of the now the most recognizable cars in the last 40 years the 1976 Ford XB Falcon. This is quite a car. We're going to get it all opened up here right now. Are you ready for this? I know I am. I cannot wait. Got the inner sealed box, or crate out from the box. Time to release this car from its factory womb. What a beauty. I have not explored any of the features of this car yet. Let's get it on the turntable and have a look at it first. There you go. What a gorgeous paint job on this car. This is a clean version, as you can tell, there is no dirty version at this time. Beautiful green light model. Very nice to see them supporting this car. Now this was extremely difficult for me to acquire. I bought this model right from down under. Good old Australia. That's where I got it. Was unable to find any for sale on eBay in North America. Only Australia. It cost me $150 plus shipping. I expect this car is going to go up in value over the years, just as the auto art version did of the Mad Max Interceptor Pursuit Special. This Interceptor features the same engine without the supercharger as Mad Max's Interceptor. It has a 351 cubic inch V8, 5.8 liter. Uh, it appears that on this model, sadly, the hood does not open. My initial observations show that the doors potentially open. And of course we'll zoom in and have a closer look at those as they come around. There we go. Let's take a closer look at that. Nice interior door panel decorations. And we'll get that other door open. For the driver. Beautiful. So no other opening parts on this vehicle, but a very nice static display. A good roller too. I can tell already. We'll have a look at the chassis here in just a moment. But first let's zoom in on the interior. Let's zoom in for a closer look on this interior. Check out those wheels. See two little tiny tailpipes sticking out from under the bumper. And over to the driver's position. Decently detailed interior.
And there you go. Let's check out that chassis now. This model is very heavy, mostly made of metal. It does have a plastic base with a semi-detailed chassis. You can see it's got some separate exhaust tubes on it leading up to the manifolds. It's got a nicely functioning steering system, although it does not show significant details as far as linkages moving. Those are protected behind components of the molded engine. And we've got some simple drive shaft kind of detailing, suspension, uh, nice rubber tires, good rolling tires. And this is this is quite a nice model. It's got a serial number on it, 04463. I imagine that means there's probably about 5,000 of these things made. And just to take a look at the car with the steering, it's really nice that they included that because for positioning the car in your display, it will look amazing. From Mad Max 2, the Road Warrior, released 1981. We've got the Interceptor, which is also a Ford Falcon two-door, as you can see, heavily modified for Mad Max's needs in the wastelands. As you can see, this is quite a detailed model. This one released from Auto Art several years ago, limited edition to 1,000 dusty versions, and I believe about 1,000 clean versions. I paid $300 for this car when I bought it, and I believe it is now worth somewhere between $1,000 and $1,500 due to its popularity. AutoArt is no longer producing this model. We'll zoom in and have a closer look at some of the other finer details as it does have a lot of opening parts. Passenger door, driver door, and a removable front valence to simulate car damage. An opening hood exposing a very detailed and also dusty 351 Cleveland V8 with a supercharger on it. Check out the details on the back as well. We've got a removable BF Goodrich tire. And in the miss in the door pocket, I, I missed it. It went around. We'll see it on the next time around. Let's zoom in for a closer look at that engine. Wow. What details exist in this model? It's absolutely amazing. Look, check out the dust and the Zoomy pipes with the real tubes. You got the little doggy uh, seat for Mad Max's companion. Check out the mesh grill on the back. A couple removable jerry cans as well, I forgot to mention. Everything from the movie faithfully reproduced on this car. There's those weapons close up. All the various pouches. Mad Max's authoritative driving position with the supercharger button next to the gear shift powering that four speed transmission also the explosive button and yet another look at this vehicle from down low check out the details on the grill of this vehicle what a beauty lastly check out the chassis on this car very detailed extreme details Right down to the differential breather tube. Another knife hidden under the gas tank, which we saw in the movie. There's the explosive bomb that blows up the car in Mad Max 2 at the end. True dual exhaust going all the way up to the manifolds. Full suspension detail including steering, actual working steering. All the belts and pulleys right on the, uh, the motor as expected and where they should be. An absolutely gorgeous model by AutoArt, 118th scale. This one is model number 92 off of the uh, production line out of 1,000 cars produced. Check out the, the drive shaft too, separate drive shaft. It's built like an actual model car kit, but uh, extremely heavy being made of metal. My final thoughts for this Mad Max themed video is green light. You guys make an amazing 164th scale model shown here in the foreground we've got the flat black version the glossy black version and there's also another version which I haven't opened up in this clever packaging featuring a figure that resembles Mad Max last of the V8 interceptors however Ace Models handcrafted in Australia builds these 164 scale faithfully reproduced 
Ford Falcons and they are far too delicate to be removed from these packages however it would be amazing green light if you could give us a 164 scale model of this car I'm sure your fans would adore it and I'm sure it's already in the works now that this car has a mold and a casting shrink it down for us so I can fit a whole bunch of little Ford Falcon MFP XB's into my collection.